it just had to do with with my creativity being being added in there. But mm -hmm. um, but then you know my kids learned to copy that too over yeah. over time, and yeah, that's. <laughs> I like that you mentioned that, Peggy, with your, your own story with um, changing the wording around um, in order to kind of accommodate um, mm -hmm. his, his learning style. And, and another, another listener referenced um, writing down um, the stories that her son tells right. me. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, the way I apply that to my own life is I found that I often am much better at producing my ideas when I'm speaking them um, ah, uh -huh. and because I'm able to do it while I'm walking around my place. I'm a big pacer. So mm -hmm. I just, I walk around my space and I just have my phone and I have my notes app on my phone and I just mm -hmm. start, I just start speaking. Um, and I found like, my goodness, I can write, I can write so mm -hmm. much more this way than I would be able to, if I were just sitting on a laptop trying to type right. things out. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So these little there there are these little mechanisms that, that we mm. can use to not only increase creativity but also just more stuff is being created um, right. by these yeah. small little changes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have anything to add to that, David? Um. No, but I like that. I gotta I gotta work with the with the notes <laughs> app and the. Uh, right. The mic more often. I well, like I find that. in the, the morning I, I do my Bible study and I write out my, I do a devotion and I actually have my own podcast that I, I do mm. that on. But I find things coming to mind like out of my mouth while I'm speaking. <laughs> it's the same yeah. thing that's like, oh, I never saw that while I was actually spending an hour reading that. <laughs> yeah. But it just came out of my mouth. So 